Hey yo, what up? It's your boy. We're finna start our first game of Outer Worlds. You can see it won't even load, so it's gonna go on normal. And uh let's have this adventure, you and I. Alright, trying to set up our face. Uh it looks a little difficult to get the skin tone right. This still seems a little bright. I guess like right there. That looks like a dark black hole, really. Not like there, brow horizontal, I don't know. This is the shit that's hard. Uh, yeah. We're just gonna go ahead and go straight to here. Huh. These hair textures are, uh, or hairstyles are, um... It's very interesting. Let's go with interesting. Guess your boy can't get a fade, huh? Guess about right there. Ugh. Amazing they'll give you so many options except like, you know, the ones that exist on Earth. Um, okay, I can apply makeup. That's kind of cool. Kinda like that, that was kinda gangster. It didn't look like makeup, that looked like natural. Freckles. <laughs> you can choose to be grimy though. Kinda wanna be grimy. I don't want no scars, got a pretty face, just need a shower. I like how the age doesn't seem to change anything really. Guys. That's consistent. What is my name? I mean, we're not really hiding it here. Alright, so one-handed melee and handguns are pretty straight at, a lot of other stuff are pretty whack at, we can do a little bit of science, we can sneak and hack, we're not good at lying and we're not good at intimidating, pretty consistent with real life here. Uh, we got a solid dodge, we can't block for shit, uh, yeah, we're not inspirational or determined, we're particularly good at engineering, seems pretty spot on. All right, so this is who we are. My man is pulling us out. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Is he going to use us for sinister purposes? Does he have an ulterior motive? Not likely, bootlickers. Ugh. Initiate skip jump. I think I need to turn on the uh, subtitles. Here we are in Terra 2, orbiting laboratory. Oh, that shit looks cool as shit. <sighs> Shit. He said a bad word. All right, here we go. We're waking up. All New Vegas style. Ah, 
There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. <laughs> Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Yeah? Unfortunately, I right. lose the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Explosive cell death? He just glossed right over that. Explosive cell death. So they're remembering me even though I'm alive. Chairman Rockwell. Obviously Can you evil. Hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all of the colonists are counting on you. Counting on me for what? I feel like there's something he's leaving out besides just that like he's a wanted man. He's wanted dead or alive on some John Bon Jovi shit. We not skipping no cinematics right now. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Okay then. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Okay, so we turned on the cinematic subtitles. I'm supposed to be doing stuff, but everything looks so cool. I like the color palette so far. B for your ducks. Hey, little buddy. Oh, I lost him. Did he go up the tree? Okay. That's pretty slick, but I can't see my own reflection. Stupid ray tracing. Am I just following little buddy? Alright, we got a pretty decent sneak. But, um... Somebody fucked man's up. Are there enemies around? Oh, that's cool. Some sort of mauling animal. The awareness meter over enemies' heads. They're timid. They know we're here.
Kind of. I'm guessing that's what ate your boy. I think they're not chasing me. Let's look. Frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Um, I suppose I just jump down in there. Oh well. Oof. Okay. But that costs one Adreno. Uh, I don't know what an Adreno is. Oh, okay, that was cool. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Yeah, let's patch homie up. Let's see if he'll be our friend. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Spacer's choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo, not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Man, they gave this man a bootleg yeah. gun. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. All right. Not sure what I should be doing here. Should I just jack a dude? How do I switch weapons? That's my inhaler boy. Did something wrong. I'm not moving. Ah, there we go. Take care of your weapons and they'll could carry you. Cool, I got a Lancer. Let's put that over there. Still don't know how to swap them though. Okay, so I got bullet time. Am 
Like, how do I switch weapons, though? Okay. Did not land my headshots. And that is our first death in Outer Worlds. Rough. Very rough. All right, let's try this again with like 30% less dying. Sneak up. Okay, how do we get through the next part? And is anyone over here? That's probably stupid. Okay. <laughs> Is that the sound I make when I discover an enemy? Uh-oh. Almost walked right into that boy. to a snipe fight. That was not as clean as the first set, but whatever. Can I search these fools? Do they not have anything? Alright. Alright. Who's up here? Are there more marauders? Little bit of uh, lag. Okay, what the fuck was that? Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. Okay. We pause to render. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. I'm gonna pick number two. Because we found one of her friends in the cave. Really? How is he? Of course I am. I'm a superior officer. Stands to reason, don't it? Just you watch. I'll cross these marauders oh. off with a swift, cost-efficient tool that that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Okay, so let's see. Do Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge? Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. It's gonna be laminated. Go. I'm right here. I 
I just earned a fine bonus. Just let them handle it for me. The heck is that? Let's see what's in this ship. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Oh yeah, we can get a sleep in. Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable's amenities, including the cargo hold's workbench. Okay. Marauder, please be informed that the engine room contains nothing of value. She says there's nothing of value. And she's probably right. Marauder, please be informed that the ship has no crew for you to murder. Damn. All doors are on security lockdown. Nice try, Marauder. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Do I have to fight? Procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five. Did I choose the wrong option? Three, two, one. If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. All right, I see what's up. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. That is true. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning <laughs> Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Astutely observed. Yeah. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. <laughs> this That's spaceship is bogus. For a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Hey, I leveled up. All right. I've been promoted. I leveled up. Yes, thank you. Okay. I have 10 points available. How, how does this work? I can get a perk.
I think I want to, uh, I think I want the damage one alone. Right. And then it says I can do something here, but I don't know how. How do I increase the, oh, like that. I got you. And let's up this one handed melee. All right. This is kind of cool now once I figured it out. Okay. I like that. I have a combat dialogue now. I can tell people to stop fighting me. And, uh, yeah. All right, let's make this pop. I think that's a good start for the, for our adventures. Wait, they're waiting for me. Oh no, am I going to jail? Hey, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Let's see if uh, we can lie to her. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. That was effective. That was surprisingly effective. So uh, I think we're going to leave it here and uh, begin our journey to Edgewater. So, uh, yeah. Stay tuned for episode two. Later, Internet.